Impossible. This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the outside bet premiere in Haymarket with me. I'm the director of the film, Sasha Bennett. How are you, Sash? I'm very well, James. How are you doing? Do you know what? I'm actually really good. I'm really good, Sash. Thank you for asking. Um, how good does it feel to finally have your film at the premiere and coming to fruition? Could you give me a little insight? It's great. I mean, it's you know, it's 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 a year's work crushed into 90 minutes, and in you know, in less than two hours, everyone will be spilling out, and and it, you know, it's over, and obviously it comes out in the cinemas, but. It's yeah, it's sort of the it's the cherry on the icing, um, but it's lovely just finally getting getting out there. It's always good to, you know, to get the film where it's supposed to be, which is in the cinema. That's always obviously the intent, and and it's 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 one off the list when it happens. Fantastic. I, I don't want to get you reflecting too much. I know it's been over a year since you last you, since you filmed the the movie, and it's, we've had a title change. But looking back on it, was there any funny moments or anything outstanding that the actors kind of did offset or on the on the on the set that kind of stuck in your mind? Um, pretty much every day. I do remember every day, yeah. I mean, we started filming a year ago. I mean, I didn't deliver the film to Universal until July, August, so it's not been that long. Yeah. It's about standard sort of length of time. But um, no, every day was fantastic on set. And just, you know, what was lovely about the script and the cast was each day brought different faces and then different permutations. So one day you'd have Bob and Jenny, and the next yeah. day it would be Bob and Callum, and the next day it would be Callum and Jenny. And, and then Emily would come in, and then you wouldn't see those guys for a week. It would be back to Jason, and then Richard Blackwood or whoever. And um, it 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 was great. You know, every day was different. It was a challenge, but it was different. And 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 there's such a lovely bunch of people, cast and crew. That you know, uh, th there was many laughs, but we we got the job done. Your cast in this film, you've got kind of diff people of different generations and different ages. Do you think that's going to help the film kind of cross appeal to more to more people? It would be fantastic. I mean, yeah, there's no givens in, in yeah. what makes a film a success or not. You know, terrible movies can make a lot of money and, and great movies can d die without a trace. Um, yeah, of course, absolutely. I, you know, right here, right now, I'd love it to sort of, you know, Adam's fans to come in as well as Bob and Reese's fans, as well as sort of the middle audience who are kind of going, oh, that looks intriguing. What, I, what, I, what it will do for the film is in the future... Uh, you know, it will play on Christmas Day probably for about 15 years yeah. uh, on ITV or BBC One just because it's that lovely, friendly, family kind of movie. And, and the whole family will be able to sit down and go, I like him, I like her, and, and actually for once stay in the same room. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I, I, I would definitely think that it will help, yeah. This is your third movie you've directed now, third feature film. Yep. What's the plan now? Are you going to be looking to go into your fourth film? Are you going to take a break? What, 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 what process do you go through? Uh, way ahead of you. Just wrapped on number four. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we start the grade. So I wrapped February, I think. A um, couple of the cast coming back. Uh, Emily Attack and Jason Mazza uh, and Terry. Um, and that, that's for Universal again, which is fantastic. You know, they really like this one. So they're kind of going, what else have you got? Uh, and that's an action noir. So... I kind of crossed my fingers in the meeting and said, I want to do a boat chase down the Thames and I want to do a car chase you know, around Canary Wharf and I want to do a gunfight and, and, and no one said no. So I got to, <laughs> got to do all these lovely things. And again, it was a completely different film from Outside Bet. So I, you know, I want to keep zigzagging and doing different things. And again, Bonded by Blood, completely different film. Yeah. Do, you, do you think you're keeping yourself kind of challenged by, by tackling different genres and stuff? Yeah, I mean, my end, my end game is always to try and cover every base. I'd love to do a science sci-fi movie set in space. I'd love to do a war movie. Uh, I'm, it looks like uh, I'm going to be doing a, a modern day Shakespeare film in, in the autumn with Adam. Um, so I, I just want to keep bouncing around. That doesn't mean I won't go back and do another crime or you know what have you. It, 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 if, if the script interests me and if I can see it in my head then I know you know th that's a reason to do it. Well, Sasha Bennett, it's always, so always fantastic to talk to you. I genuinely, genuinely enjoy your company and thank you for talking to iFilm London. Thanks for coming down. Take care. James Holder with Sasha Bennett for iFilm London at the Outside Bet premiere. Thank you very much. Pick myself up, dust myself off, and start all over again. Don't lose your confidence if you slip. Be grateful for a pleasant trip and pick yourself up, dust off, start over again.